Unraveling the Mystery of Confounding Variables Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into an exciting topic that often puzzles English language learners and researchers alike, confounding variables. Understanding this concept is crucial not just in academic research but also in interpreting everyday situations and news. So, let's demystify this term together and explore its significance in the world of research and beyond. A confounding variable is an external factor that can influence the outcome of an experiment or study, potentially leading to misleading results. It's like an uninvited guest that sneaks into your study, affecting the relationship between the variables you're actually interested in. For example, if you're studying the effect of exercise on weight loss, a confounding variable could be the participant's diet. Without accounting for diet, it's hard to determine if weight loss was due to exercise or what they were eating. Identifying and controlling for confounding variables is vital because it helps ensure the accuracy of your findings. If we don't account for these sneaky variables, we might end up with false conclusions about the relationship between our main variables. This is especially important in research that aims to influence public policy or individual behavior, where accurate information is crucial for making informed decisions. To help you better understand, let's look at some examples. In a study examining the relationship between physical activity and mental health, factors such as age, socioeconomic status, and pre-existing health conditions could act as confounding variables. When researching the effects of studying abroad on language acquisition, the amount of prior language study or the presence of a language-rich environment at home could influence the outcomes. Researchers use various methods to deal with confounding variables. One common approach is to control for them in the study design, either by matching participants across groups or statistically adjusting for these variables in the analysis. Another method is randomization, where participants are randomly assigned to different conditions, helping to distribute confounding variables evenly across groups and minimize their impact. And that wraps up our exploration of confounding variables. Remember, recognizing and controlling for these variables is crucial for conducting reliable and valid research. We hope this video has shed some light on the importance of being vigilant about confounding variables in research and everyday critical thinking. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insightful content. Until next time, Happy learning!